On a Synology NAS, the root account is the default account that has virtually unlimited access to all programs, files and system resources on your NAS. However, as Synology designed this station manager to be administered and managed without the need to use root, there should be no need to use the root account. So if you're just curious, or you need root to access a very specific task, in this video we're going to demonstrate how you access the root account from within a terminal window. As root cannot be accessed from within this station manager, we're going to need to use Secure Shell. So if we log into this station manager using our administrator's credentials, and then open Control Panel, from within Control Panel, we need to find and select Terminal and SNMP. We now need to enable the option, Enable SSH Service, and click Apply. A warning message will appear, to which we have to select OK. Then if we have the firewall enabled on our NAS, we will be notified that port 22 will be opened. After choosing OK, we can log out of Disk Station Manager. In order to access the root account, we will need to use a terminal command. However, as Windows and macOS will both recognize the same command, for this demonstration, we will be using Windows 11. First, we need to open a terminal window. The easiest way to do this is to open Search and type Terminal and select Terminal from Best Match. Now from the terminal window, if we type SSH, the name of the administrator's account on our NAS, at, and the IP address of our NAS. When you press enter on your keyboard, if this is the first time you've attempted to run SSH from your computer, you will be asked to install an authentication key. To do this, simply type yes and press enter. As we have used SSH with this computer before, our NAS recognizes the authentication key, so we simply need to enter the administrator's password to our NAS. We're now connected to our NAS via SSH. While we could use sudo to elevate any commands that we enter so that they have root privileges, in order to access the root account, we now need to type sudo dash i, and when prompted, enter our administrator's password. After pressing enter on our keyboard, we're logged into the root account of our NAS. When you finish working in the root account, if you type exit, you will be logged out of root. However, as this will return you to your system administrator's account, you now need to also log out of this account. After using SSH on your NAS, it is very important that you disable SSH. So if we return to this station manager, and from the desktop, select Control Panel. Then once again, open Terminal and SNMP. By removing the tick next to Enable SSH Service and selecting Apply, we disable SSH on our NAS. However, as we also need to adjust our firewall, if from the sidebar, we select Security and then choose Firewall, from within the firewall panel, if we select Edit Rules, we will be presented with a list of our firewall rules. From this list, we need to untick Encrypted Terminal Service Rule. When we select OK, the firewall on our NAS will no longer accept SSH traffic. We can now log out of Disk Station Manager. So to summarize, in this video, we took a look at how you access the root account on a Synology NAS using SSH. We then demonstrated how you disable SSH and adjust the firewall settings on your NAS.